The Melbourne to Warnable starting way back in 1895, creating a new piece of history with the Lockhart Warnable Cycling Classic, a standalone women's race starting in Colac and finishing in Warnable. 160 kilometres with 47 riders on the start line. Amongst them, Matilda Reynolds, who had won the women's edition of the race for the past two years when it was incorporated within the men's race. Didn't take long for the attacks to get underway. Across the gravel section, one of the pre-race favourites, Amber Pate, was on the charge. As the the race settled down once again, a strong group emerged off the front with seven riders, including Georgie Howe of Knights of Suburbia, ARA Pro Racing Sunshine Coast, two riders in the move, Maeve Plouffe and Anya Lowe. For Rock Salt Live Stram, the Australian national champion, Nicole Frame, Matilda Reynolds making it into the breakaway for Inform TMX Make, Josie Talbot of Sydney Uni Staminade, and all the way from Ireland, Megan Armitage. As they were approaching the finish in Warrnambool, it was Matilda Reynolds who was the first to attack. That was brought to heel quickly. It was then Megan Armitage who went on the move. She was also reeled back in. They then made the left-hand turn onto the famous Raglan Parade destination, the finish line in Warnable. It was Maeve Plouffe who was on the front having to do the pacemaking, but at 500 metres to go, Nicole Frame, the Australian national champion, decided to go long range. She was quickly caught by Maeve Plouffe, who then waited patiently before opening up her sprint to take a convincing win. It was Maeve Plouffe going out, the winner of an historical edition of the race. It was Josie Talbot in second place. It was then Matilda Reynolds in third. That was incredible, that was so much fun. It was probably one of the hardest races I've ever done. Um, it was on from the start and then there was a bit of a lull. The girls really put it to me up those um, little climbs. They weren't too big, but everyone was going hard for them, definitely. Um, and then just cat and mouse at the end, which, which did suit me, but there was a lot of nervous energy at the end of the break there.